Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Suicidal Spillway. Man, that's loud. It's like I got so many different games, and uh, yeah, I gotta hit shift to, to sprint here. It's, 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 uh, I'm getting used to it, I'm getting used to it. I got so many different games with different, like, um, and I think that Killing Floor is honestly, actually, you know what? I was, I was watching a video yesterday, and I think that Killing Floor is actually, like, a little bit loud, so we're gonna turn it down just a little bit, just a little bit. I do think that it is a little bit on the louder side of things, but I was still I was still able to understand what I was saying, so it was still fine, but it does feel a little bit on the louder side, so we'll just kind of tone it down a bit. I've uh, I've been getting some, some new people commenting on my videos. It's been feeling really good. It's weird because I'm making this huge change to uh, not really making videos on this channel anymore and and now I'm getting like all kinds of people coming over here being like hey I just found your channel love this stuff you're into new subscriber blah 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 you know and I'm like man I want that on the I want the, I want the, I want the I want that on the other channel you know but uh it is what it is right it is what it is it's okay um enough about that we've been we've been doing a lot of meta talk lately and I, I, I don't know Maybe it's maybe it's interesting. Maybe it isn't. Um, but I like to to try and keep the uh, the variety up anyway. Um, I like haven't read any of my my uh, I haven't read I haven't read at all actually in like a few weeks. Um, it's been weird because I normally read like every day, like some manga or a light novel or something. I normally read like every day, and uh, it's been a, a week or two now that I have not read at all so I don't know I, I, I I'm like I'm still coming up on the end of the the one Chinese light novel that I was reading the um, you know my apprentice game over again or whatever it's called I'm, I'm coming up on the end of that I just I can't finish it I can't bring myself to to read it because I don't know I took like a, a, a week-long break from reading it and I come back to it and it really is just like garbage it's, it's just trash. The the writing in it is just like not good. And I don't know if it's because um, this is kind of the problem with with reading um, like translated uh, media is a lot of the jokes can get uh, like lost in translation, and sometimes that's fine because it's still okay. Like the the translators will either like add in like some kind of explanation for what the joke was supposed to be, and you're like, oh, I get it. That's yeah, I get it. You know, or um, they'll they'll replace it with with a similar joke. You know, um, but it's just uh, that's not what's happening <laughs> with with this one, and it just it feels bad. It feels really really bad to read. Um, it's just like garbage. And I don't I don't know if it's because um, it's just bad translation or bad writing originally, but it's kind of turned me off of reading entirely. Because, I don't know, I like, once once I start reading something, I want to finish it, you know what I mean? And then read something else. And, uh, I just I don't want to finish it, so I just haven't been reading anything else. There have been other things, it's, it's weird, because, like, I am just stubborn about it, right? Like, I'm, I'm stubborn in that, uh, I will start reading something, and I won't read anything else until I've, I've finished reading that thing, right? Um, so I've, I've found other things that I'd be like, ooh, that would be kind of cool to go read. But I won't read it. I'll be like, well, I'll read it after I finish, uh, you know, game over again. And then I, I'm just not reading it, so I don't get to go and read the other things that I'm interested in. And it's it's like not a good thing for for me, really. I mean, I don't know. It's been more time to be productive on on YouTube and stuff. But squeak, squeak. The chair is getting even more squeaky. I think either that or I'm noticing it more. But it's definitely annoying me a lot more, which sucks. But um. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might buy a new chair. I don't know. They're expensive, right? Like, it's like a like Canadian to get, like, a new, like, decent chair. It's, it's like $500 Canadian. And, like, I can afford it, but that's $500 out of my, like, saving to get my own place, you know? And I don't know if I really value it that much. The, the, the non-squeaky chair would sure be nice, but... You know what else would be really nice? It's just being able to, to, to move out and get my own place. Um, I guess part of my savings are kind of going towards furniture. Like, I got savings for um, for me to get my own place. Uh, 
and uh, I would love if I could um, use it to move out but like some of the savings are going towards rent right so, like I'm not gonna move out until I got like fifteen thousand dollars put away or something like that fifteen to twenty thousand dollars or so I'd, I'd, I'd feel comfortable moving out because that's you know you got a full year of, of rent paid for right so you don't have to worry about rental costs really um, whether you pay up front or not like the money is there to, to pay for it um, which is like pretty sick um, you got probably like a full year worth of food with that so that's like another cost that's just kind of like handled I still have like income every month as well so that's that's also kind of like you know just like spending money I guess once once at that point but like you know the spendings is into the savings <laughs> to, to be able to have a similar kind of position for for next year you know um funk aww um and it, you're able to kind of like know ahead of time that like yeah I have pretty much all of the expenses for a year just completely done enough savings put away for in case some kind of an emergency happens or something like you you feel comfortable with it right so that's that's when I would want to move out but some of that money is also going to be spent on like if I need new furniture like a couple thousand of it at least right for, for if I need new furniture or whatever new chairs desks whatever right so I guess I could just like reduce the amount that I have to save up and and get some which is kind of what I've been doing like I got uh, kitchen supplies I got my knife my chef's knife um, cutting boards you know things things of that nature that you kind of need when you move out as well which I have been spending on um, but I don't know a new computer chair when I already have one it just it feels like lower priority than something else because when I when I do move out it's it's not gonna be I uh, this the next year is gonna be tight right <laughs> the first year I want to be comfortable for it but uh, making sure I have the money to also pay for like the next year of rent and all that is is definitely gonna be pretty tight because uh, the plan at the current moment anyway is to move out while I still don't have income from YouTube and then just hope that it works <laughs> uh, yeah um, so the second year is definitely gonna be uh, a little bit tighter so I want to make sure that I have money um, put away to, to kind of ease that up a little bit um, if, uh, if YouTube doesn't quite go so great but I'm kind of expecting it will go to I'm expecting it'll go well enough that I'll be able to have the second year kind of like struggle through a little bit and then the third year will kind of be like you know back to somewhat normal it's kind of my expectation um, so like a new chair I just I feel like I really sh you know the only reason I would want it is for YouTube well not really I do want one for I do want a new one just so that I feel better about my chair because like I want one with more lumbar support like right now there's like a foot between my back and uh, the back of the chair which is like a problem and uh, there's no support there really you know so I do a lot of slouching a lot of slouching and it's not very good um, at least while recording um, and then uh, I would also like to have my desk moved back moved, like new desk because I got these big old like sturdy arm rest things here right they don't fit underneath my desk my legs barely fit underneath my desk um, it's a custom one made by my grandfather and when I was like 12 or 13 or something like that um, handmade from from just wood um, and uh, you know I love it it's great uh, but there there are a number of problems that come from uh, you know somebody who doesn't really understand computers making a computer desk for somebody who really really needs a lot of space on their computer desk and like a solid computer desk you know so there are a number of the problems that kind of come up from that right this is fine um, so I'd like to get something with more space and just have a little bit more leeway with it did I not buy oh god that's gonna be fun hey that's gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so it's uh, there, there is a way to kind of 
work this out. Um, it involves parrying that, because you can parry it. Um, you can't, you can't, you can block it. So it's that's what we're gonna be trying to make happen here. Although we did get enough ammunition, I think, to to just kind of kill her now, probably. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that, that's kind of my, my plan at the moment, right? And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, regardless, though, whatever happens, yeah, I want a new chair. <laughs> this is the moral of the story. I want one that gives me more back support. I want a new desk so that I can sit closer up on my desk and have my hands on my desk rather than like having to have them kind of like half off my desk on these armrests and then like yeah because I feel like I have to have my chair really high to get the armrest like level with the with my desk and then I have to like lean down so that my arms actually reach the armrest and the desk you know because normally you'd be sitting back a little bit right in this kind of a chair but I can't do that because I have to sit up because I just I like sitting forward when I'm in when I'm gaming in the first place most of the time uh, especially for recording to be close to the the microphone but normally you'd be sitting back and this is like fine posture when I'm sitting back right like this posture is okay not great but it's okay there's no headrest on it either so that kinda sucks there's there's like a number of problems that I want that I have with this chair that I would like a better chair um, just for myself but the main reason I want a chair the main motivator for me is recording. The squeaking on the recording is super annoying in my opinion. Um, I don't know if it bothers you guys so much. I don't even know how well it comes up on recording like this kind of squeaking that I'm doing right now. Um, but for for me every time it happens I can hear it and it annoys me. So it annoys me knowing that that's going into the into the video. Whether it annoys you guys or not it annoys me and that's that's what matters to me most. Well kind of. If, if, I, if either party is annoyed is uh, is annoyed by it. That's what matters most to me, really. I want everybody to be comfortable with it, right? Um, including me. Um, but like, it, it's mostly for recording, so it feels bad to use non-recording money on uh, on a chair to to upgrade my recording setup when I have like I could get a better microphone that would be a much better upgrade. You know, I might even just get rid of my. Uh, um, squeaking all together if I can get a good microphone that kind of doesn't pick it up. Um, a better keyboard so you guys don't hear all this like clacking in the background. Like a, a red switches or something maybe even. I like tactility but I like quiet right now. Um, not so much a problem in KF2 but definitely a problem in Minecraft as I like do this a lot, you know? You know? So that that's definitely a problem. In other games as well, where lots more jumping is doable, done, definitely a problem. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other upgrades we could get that that they just feel more important to me than a chair. So I don't know. A desk would be a good one for sure. But yeah, I don't know. There, there's just a lot to, to to think about there. And then yeah, I want to move out. So I'm like, how much money do I really want to be spending? You know, I could be putting it into savings instead, which definitely sounds like a better idea to me for like almost all circumstances. So it's it's uh yeah. Really? You don't die one shot with uh, the normal decals? Interesting. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I mean, I don't even know when I'll be able to move out if I uh will be able to even do that this year. I'm hoping I can. I'm not too too far off being able to to move out, but I am I am also like pretty far off. So I don't know. It's uh Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of stuff I don't really have too much control over, you know? But, but, like I have control over it, right? Like I can go get a job, I can save my money, I can do a number of things that will be better for me than um, what I'm doing right now, but if I want to do what I want to do, then I don't really get too much control over these things, right? So, but, huh, 
I, I, I swear I saw a head and he just like fell. Kind of confused me. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Enough of that. Enough of that. When I do, when I do eventually move out, when I, when I eventually do move out and get my own place, I'm not sure if, uh, if I'll give you guys a tour of the place. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking I will. I'm thinking I will. I'm thinking I will. But I'm not, I'm not confident I will. It's gonna depend on, on if how comfortable I am with uh, live video at that point. I mean, it depends on when it is too, right? I mean, if it's like tomorrow, <laughs> which it's not, but you know, assuming it were, probably not so much. Uh, gonna be doing a, a live recording of that, but uh, I'll definitely talk about it when I do move out. I'll definitely when I do move out. I uh, I really want to get like a pretty good setup for recording. Um, not an expensive setup for recording, to be clear, but, um, an organized setup for recording. Right now it's a little bit not organized, and I would like to organize what I got. Uh, some upgrades I'll actually have to, um, buy, because, like, I currently use my Blue Snowball, which is on a, uh, custom-made, like, boom arm that my father made, which is not a part of my desk. It's not like a... Like, it's a part of the house. You know what I mean? Like, it can be removed, but it can't really be put back on to a different house, you know? Because it's just the way that it, it's kind of fitting in here. Um, it's not a part of my desk, it's a part of the house. Um, so it's, uh... Yeah, like, when I move, I won't have a boom arm, so I'll have to get one of those. And then I'm like, whatever, I'll just get, like, a, a cheapo, like, $30 microphone or something like that. Like, an XLR mic instead, and... I should be able to get better quality out of that, like a DAC as well, you know, maybe, maybe $400 or whatever spent on, on upgrading the streaming setup, I should be able to get like a pretty dang good setup, honestly, for that. And then, uh, yeah, that's what's when I've got like $20,000 saved up, which I'm not at right now. Um, but $400 out of that isn't, isn't really that much, and it, it's definitely going to improve my, my setup. Um, and I'll definitely give you guys a, a picture of that, at least. I don't know if I'll give you a whole tour of the apartment that I end up living in whenever it happens again it could be like a year away right like it's not a it's not a now thing but you'll definitely get to see a picture of my setup and it'll be a pretty sick setup I think it's gonna be uh, mine that's what makes it sick so I'm excited for it I'm excited for it I know that it's I mean at most it's two years away like absolute worst case scenario um, which is not that far away Best case scenario, it's like, you know, two or three months away. I mean, best case scenario is, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's really best case scenario because of reasons, but, um, just speaking specifically with regards to, uh, um, speaking specifically with regards to, uh, being able to move out, um, best case scenarios is probably three or four months away and I like buy a house or an apartment or a condo rather or whatever you know and uh, live in that and own it rather than rent but uh, the chances of me getting the money for that are just like unbelievably small I'd have to win like a, a lottery ticket or something I don't play the lottery so <laughs> it's like not really gonna happen right I don't play the I don't play the idiot tax Every now and then I think I think I might want to though, you know. Every now and then I'm at the store and I, I, I feel the urge to do it. For sure. And then I'm like, you know what? You don't win today, lottery. You don't win today. You didn't beat me today. I don't buy it. I think, what if I did buy it and then I won? And that's how they get you. Because the chances are you're not going to win. And then uh, they just take your money. And then they give like a small portion of it to some random who wins and is like, wow, I got so lucky. And then that person goes and spends all their money in a stupid way and goes broke and their family ends up like killing them for their money and it's a whole controversy and everything kind of goes wrong for them. That's typically how it goes, right? 
I mean, you know, like, uh, it's, that's the other thing, right? Is even if you do play the lottery and you do win, it's not like your life is fixed. You just got a whole different set of problems now. They're not necessarily, like, better. The amount of people who, like, win the lottery and then their lives are ruined because of it is, like, insane. It's, I think it's actually, like, the majority of people who win the lottery have their lives ruined because of it. And I mean, I mean big numbers, right? If you win, like, 100,000 or something like that, your life is probably not ruined by it. I mean, if you win, like, 40 million. I, I believe the statistics say that most people's lives, when they win a big lottery like that, are worse off for having won it. Just because they, they, they don't have a plan for how to spend it. They end up, like, living above their... Above their, uh... Like, above what they can afford, you know? And then, uh... Turns into a huge mistake, and then they run out of money because they didn't know how to like save it. Because you know, poor people are typically the ones who are winning. Well, you know, rich people are typically the people who are winning, but it's typically the same rich people. You know what I mean? I'm feeling generous. Um, out of the people who win, not looking at the wins, but like the people who win, it's mostly poor people, I believe. And they don't know how to save. That's part of the reason why they're poor not that you can just save and then not be poor because like there's a whole host of other problems behind poverty and stuff but you know poor people who are spending their money on uh, on lottery tickets have enough money to spend on lottery tickets and if they were to put that away on other things then they probably would have been better off for it you know anyway um that's gonna do it for today thanks for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if you have anything to say and i'll see you next time Bye bye